Did you see what I did, Papa? I saved a mouse. Yes, that was a good deed, son. But now, what are you going to do for that poor old owl? The owl? He's just plain mean. No, he's not. It's just natural for owls to eat mice. He gets hungry the same as we do. Now, let's see what's the matter here. Doesn't seem serious. Hmm, maybe some tonic would help. Imp, bring me the juniper juice. to move. Yes, he's all right now. Let's give him a boost. Now, don't pull. Push. Uh, careful with his wings. Yes. <coughs> Higher. Uh, gently now. See? Ooh. He made it. <sighs> he's not mean. He's not mean at all. Is he, Papa? Of course not. He's just one of our neighbors in the forest. Now it's time for you to run back to help your mother. Hurry now. All right, Papa. When the world was very young, gnomes moved freely day and night across all the lands. They were nature's little folk, big in heart, friends to all, men and mice alike. Then, one of the great mysteries of gnomology, they quietly retreated below ground and became nocturnal, and no one knows why. Now, happily, as people once again find time to stand and stare at nature's boundless treasures, there have been many daytime sightings to encourage us that indeed gnomes are alive and well. Gnomes are no taller than six inches, not counting their calves, and weigh a mere 10 ounces, yet they are seven times stronger than man. They live peaceful lives, no headaches or ulcers, and bide their time cheerily to the ripe old age of 400 years or more. They are kind and generous and get along with just about everyone, except Trolls. Trolls are niggly, nasty, ugly brutes, meddlesome and aggressive, who love nothing better than to catch an unsuspecting gnome and treat him with the same disregard they treat all nature. Hey, who's that fiddling with our trap? Why, that's a pinheaded, meddlesome, nature-loving gnome. Uh, uh, what's the... Oh, tight. He's taking our supper. Those no good gnomes are a nuisance. Yeah, trying to help all the animals. Well, they ain't gonna get away with it this time. Now remember, you must always warn your cub about traps set by those evil trolls. Most of us today think we've had no encounters with gnomes, but there are many things we don't see unless we look carefully. We may miss the ground-hugging rabbit or the timid deer in the forest, so think how difficult it is to spot a tiny little gnome. He's cunning with his tracks. With him, you have to know what to look for, a little red cap behind a twisted blade of grass. From the woodpile, he might regularly take one of your logs for carving. So begins our tale of high adventure, the story of one family of woodland gnomes. Father, mother, old grandpa, born even before the pilgrims set foot on Plymouth Rock, Tor, the eldest son, and finally Imp and Impy, 30 years old and just out of diapers. Pets, <laughs> I'll bet you thought we were never coming home. 
to bed with you two now. Tomorrow will be a very busy day. Tor is getting married. <laughs> My wedding day! The sun's coming up Not a cloud is in the way We're getting ready For a wedding day There's a shower of color And not a sign of gray We're getting ready for a wedding day There's gonna be a wedding We're getting ready for a wedding And it's a la di da, -da sing along wedding day Somebody's baking a honey cake Somebody's stringing up daisies Almost finished. Just a few more touches. Uh, Tor, give Grandpa a hand there. Yeah, thanks, but I can handle it. Uh, uh, Tor, did I ever tell you about the time the tree fell on the rabbit? Uh, I lifted the whole tree. I saved that rabbit. Oh, you should have seen me then. Yes, uh, Grandpa. There. Looks good, don't you think, Mother? I'm so proud of my whole family. Well, it isn't every day we have a wedding. Tor, your bride will be very happy. And we have a surprise for you. It's your dowry chest. It's an old gnome tradition. Your father and I have prepared it for you, and it's full of our love. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you both. Lisa and I will cherish it forever. I still say Tor's a little young to get married, don't you think? <laughs> Grandpa, I'm almost 102 years old. Yes, and still not dry behind the ears. <laughs> Not dry behind the ears. <laughs> now, for our family of gnomes, life would be blissful indeed deep in their forest home. But, well, life's never quite perfect. And a good example of that is the presence of trolls. These loathsome, malicious creatures with their foul breath and matted hair are never happier than when they are thundering about, robbing, smashing, and causing trouble for everyone, especially gnomes. Trolls are stupid, lazy, and when they're not up to mischief, they lay about all day in the filth and slobber of their dank and musty caves under abandoned bridges. Well, uh, where is everybody? Helping the farmers, 
cleaning the house, dusting, stuff like that. Well, they stole our bear steak. And I'm hungry. And you'll stay hungry. Do we get rid of those gnomes? Last week, they let a rabbit go. The week before that, it was a raccoon. And the week before that... It... This forest ain't big enough for them enough. Let's go get them. Hold it. We've tried that before, and it didn't work. This time, we got to have a plan. We'll find out where they live and destroy them. Well, where are we going to start? I'll tell you where you're going to start. You'll start where you saw them last. Well, there. That's where I saw him with the bear. Uh, maybe you're right for once. Because I think I smell them. They live in the ground, under the trees. Look everywhere. Search every tree. But, Ma, there are thousands of trees. We can't keep wandering around just looking at trees all day. I don't care how you find them, but find them. Yeah, yeah, let's get them all. Kill them all. Get the gnomes. We'll find them. It takes all the night. It is not only the woodland gnomes that have to suffer the wrath of the wicked trolls. You see, there are many kinds of gnomes living in all sorts of environments. Most sightings are of woodland gnomes, but there are dune gnomes, salty fellows that live by the sea, arbitrating the raucous arguments of seagulls, quietly planting sedgegrass to preserve the shorelines. Garden gnomes, you know, sometimes honored by humans with those concrete statues, whose tiny hands wondrously bless the flowers and plants with health and color. Then there is the house gnome, wise in the ways of human folk. He inhabits our old historic houses, maintaining the finery of favorite possessions, and when work is done, relishing the large, warm fireplace. These, then, are the family of gnomes, always ready for a lark or a tease, and above all, good-natured. What's this? Oh, yes, there's one type of gnome we forgot to mention, the Siberian gnome. Wow, lover! Time to check the ender freers. <laughs> Let's see now. Where are we? 20 degrees latitude, 35 degrees longitude, 14 PSH could the other what's it? Aha, that means dead away. Let's go, Lobo! Really, the less said about him, the better. Except that he can't resist attending a gnome wedding, regardless of the distance, whether he's invited or not. My goodness, who's that arriving? I think I know. <laughs> you lucky peoples, here I am. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Say hello to your old Uncle Kostya. Oh, it's, oh, it's you, Uncle, Uncle Kostya. So, so glad you could come to my wedding. Frankly, you couldn't keep me away. <laughs> Haven't seen you since you were, as they say in Siberia, knee-high to a grasshopper. <laughs> we're very proud of Tor. He's one of the strongest gnomes from miles around. Good boy. So, uh, Kostya, uh, how is everything in Siberia? You know, ice and snow, 60 below, makes a happy Eskimo. <laughs> What's this? Is this the bride? Oh, Kostya! <laughs> Haven't seen you for 150 years, and you're prettier than ever. Oh, There's more of you, too. <laughs> Did you invite him? Shh, not so loud. I can't remember. Mama, can Imp and I go to the farm to help with the milking? Please, Mama. Yes, dear, but be sure to take Grandpa along, and while you're there, get some milk for the ice cream. What's this? Looks as pretty as a city hall in Minsk. No, that was a city hall in Pinsk. Or was it Tromsk? No, it was Minsk. <laughs> Maybe Kinsk, not sure. Maybe it was Minsk. <laughs> I hear voices. Yeah. What's that noise? 
of you the trolls I saw on the hill. Trolls? Costio, why didn't you warn us? They're dangerous. Everyone listen to me. We must get out of sight fast. Trolls. The trolls are coming. Did you hear? Trolls are coming. Stop it. You must get out of sight fast. Shh. No time for trolls. Yes, ma'am. set up for a party? We could have caught them all and finished them off. Just like that. They gotta be here somewhere. The trouble with you is you're too emotional. You gotta use your head. Think. Yeah. I'm thinking. Hey, Ma, how about in here? You call that using your head? Where's Runt? Here I am, Ma. Well, we're not gonna find him now. There is one thing. We have a good idea where they live, and we'll be back. The trolls have ruined everything. They're always the same. All they do is destroy. Look, the chest is safe. Oh, but that's all that's left. We'll have to postpone the wedding. Mama, we can't. I won't let anything stand in the way of our wedding. The boy is absolutely right. Besides, I didn't come a thousand miles for nothing. I came for a wedging, and I want a wedging! Trolls are bad, Kostya. Maybe not in Siberia, but around here they're terrible. I remember we had some trolls here about 200 years ago. Destruction from miles around. Birds, animals, farms. They made our lives miserable. But what will we do? Now, now. The wedding will take place as planned. But we'll have it inside, where we'll all be safe. Are we all here? <gasps> What's the matter, Mother? What about Grandpa and the twins? They're at the farm. If the trolls find them, they'll... Oh. I'll go get them. Don't worry, Mother. I'll bring them back. Now, up we go. That's it. Keep her coming. Oh, I'll be right back. I got something nice to leave for the farmer's wife. <laughs> I think she's kind of sweet on me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cut it out. <laughs> Let's take him back to Ma. Yeah, maybe she'll let us feed him to the bats. Oh, I've got to find Grandpa. Wanna have some fun first? Yeah. Let's play ball. Yeah! Okay, here's one. <laughs> got it! Yeah, yeah, cut this! <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Watch this one. <laughs> My goodness, they've made him into a baseball. Hold it. I got a better idea. <laughs> Give me a fast one. I've got to stop those bullies. They'll kill him. Hold it, Grandpa. Where'd he go? Oh, uh, uh, let's not tell Ma about that one, okay? Oh, I'm so glad to hear you didn't have any trouble with the trolls. My goodness, if they had found you. <laughs> Where's Grandpa? He and Uncle Costa are making, uh, lemonade. Lemonade. That's nice. Now, have you set the table? Yes, Mama. Gnomes are superb craftsmen. Bassman ceramics, weaving, glass blowing, and basket making. Their hands can charm exquisite cups, plates, and pots from rough clay. Baskets of intricate and ornate patterns grow magically under their fluttering fingers. Taking the coarsest animal hair, they create the finest fabrics. By the heat of the furnace, their charmed breath seemingly blows life itself into crystal glass of 
fabulous brilliance. Of course, you know the recipe for this gnome punch is well over a thousand years old, and, and I've been making it for, oh, at least 350 years, adding me own creative touches, of course. <laughs> I personally crush the birch leaves. Uh, yes, but when do we add the... Uh, an improperly crushed birch leaf is worthless. But you forgot uh, the... Absolutely worthless. Now, now, then there's a dandelion... But it needs... And a fennel and, and a touch of chamomile. <laughs> when did you add Good it? elderberries, I say, good elderberries. How Hard to find these days. Things ain't what they used to be, I'll tell you. Now, let's see. Here comes the secret ingredient. Maybe it's time to test it. Well, hey, Kostya? Hey? Yeah. No, no, no. Hold it, hold it, hold it. The chef gets to taste the soup first. <laughs> that good, eh? Remarkable. What did I do right? Oh, Kostya, quickly. Give me your expert opinion. Huh? <laughs> yes? From the steppes of the Ukraine yes? to the northern waste of Siberia, <laughs> I've never <laughs> tasted better. <laughs> <laughs> Does it need anything? <laughs> well, maybe just another drop of you know what. <laughs> yeah, here! Lisa's here! The whole family! Lisa! Tor! <coughs> oh, my, they make such a lovely couple. And kissing. They must be house gnomes. What are house gnomes? Gnomes that live with people in the big cities. They're snooty and uppity. Well, they better not pull any of their ears on me. I'm gonna get me a gnome. Grab that food. Oh, get out. Get out. How do you know? They're gone. The gnomes are all gone. They're up to something big. And we're gonna find out what. We know they live around here somewhere. So you two stay here and keep your eyes open. I wanna know where they go in and where they come out. Got that? Where's Runt? Here I am, Ma. Lisa, put your hand in mine. We're gonna share forever, walking side by side. We'll face the years, knowing all the time. Oh, Lisa, I wish the wedding was over. Oh, Tor, can't you wait? Soon I will be yours forever. Please be patient. The wedding is tonight. There's gonna be a wedding tonight. <laughs> oh, what is that ugly creature? <laughs> Don't be frightened, Lisa. Oh, he's my friend. He needs help. Open your mouth. Tor, no! Aha! Uh, I see what the trouble is. Gnomes are friendly with all creatures of the forest. More often than not, acting as nurse or surgeon to unfortunate animals unable to help themselves. Removing annoying ticks which cause pain and irritation 
During the stag's seasonal fights, it's the gnome who bravely climbs into the entwined antlers, sawing away to free the poor beasts from possible starvation. Acupuncture's not new to the gnome. He has treated his woodland friends for thousands of years, using his golden needles to aid in removal of thorns or to cure eye infections. Constantly, he watches over all who live in the deep forest. He finds food for the hungry. He builds shelter for the homeless. He returns the little ones who've strayed from their nests. He frees the rabbit caught in the snare. He referees the feather-flying roosters in their frequent battles, and quite often without losing his hat. All right, fella. Now, after this, be a little more careful what you swallow. Oh, Tor, things are so different here in the country. Back in the city, we help people by doing simple household chores. But we never have to face any wild animals. Oh, there's nothing to it. Now, where were we? Are you still doing that old gnome kiss? Let me show you how we do it in this city. <laughs> Ain't they cute? Yeah. Coochie, coochie, coo. Yeah. <clears throat> this is our big chance. Let's grab him. Hey, can we do that again? Now what? Another one of your patients? These are trolls. Lisa, run. Follow me. This way. Where'd they go? That's where they went. They gotta be in here somewhere. Yeah. We got them trapped. Smash everything in sight until they find them. <laughs> they ain't getting out of here alive. Hey, that feels good. I've got an idea. No! <laughs> Where are you going? Wait for me! Oh, Tor, that was wonderful. How clever you are. Uh, uh... Well, what happened this time? Well, you won't believe me, Ma. We found out something important. The gnomes are having a wedding tonight. So that's it. A wedding, huh? A wedding means guests. Guests mean more gnomes. And more gnomes will mean less gnomes. But tonight, they'll be having some guests they ain't expecting. <laughs> the bride would favor us with a song. Oh, well, if you insist. Uh, how you say, uh, uh, Nostrovia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> Somebody in awful pain. Well, that's a very good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, oh my! Oh. Different. Where's Rod? Here I am, Bob. What do you hear? I hear music and laughter and happiness. Sounds like those miserable gnomes. Cut it out. You didn't come here to dance. Oh, 
<laughs> Where's Ron? Here I am, Ma. I found the window. Shh. Somebody's coming. It's the dress and veil I wore when I married your father 200 years ago. Oh, Mother. It's beautiful. What's going on? This is very sweet. I always hoped you would keep it for me. How can I ever thank you? Get dressed now. Father will come for you shortly. Now's the time. Now, let's see what kind of a wedding they'll have without the bride. Where's Runt? Here I am, Ma. I got an idea. If we were to wander around on the corner there. Oh. Come in. Lisa, you are lovely. May I have one last look? Oh, oh, oh. That's right, I forgot. That's saved for the bridegroom. Start the ceremony by the traditional lifting of the veil. Ah! Oh! It's the trolls! They've taken Lisa! I'm going after them! Oh, don't lose your head. You're going to need help. Too late for that! Go get him, Tiger! Worked. We got two of them, and that's only the beginning. Now for step two. <laughs> Don't cry, my little pet. Let me out. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> But you're a ferocious little redhead. <laughs> well, you'll soon have plenty of company when we catch the rest of you guys. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll get us out of here. How could this have happened? My baby. My tour. Father, what can we do? We must find them. <laughs> Yes, and quickly, too. Why, I remember the last time a gnome was captured by some trolls. They did terrible things. Ooh. They held him against a grindstone and tried to set fire to him. Oh, he was mighty lucky to get away, I tell you. Enough of this talk! Action! Yes, after them. We've got to rescue Tor and Lisa. What now, Ma? Now, listen close. I'll give you a for instance. A for instance? Yeah. For instance, I was captured. What would you do? No, no, no. You'd come looking for me. Wouldn't you? Right. Uh, now, when the other gnomes come looking for these two, and they will, we'll grab them. Every last one. Oh, Ma, you're so smart. Yeah. Now, get busy and start looking. Heavens! Oh, my, I, I didn't think I had it in me. I'll get you yet. Come here, you little... Look what's coming. This way. We'll confuse them. Go! The whole gnome army. <laughs> oh, Tor, what are they going to do to us? Nothing. No troll is going to keep me locked up. you 
out of here in a minute. Have you gone bananas? Oh, but Ma, I'm wiping out the whole gnome army. Oh, yeah? You can't tell a gnome from a mushroom. You're doing terrible. Try something else. I'll go back and, and check on our two little house guests. didn't catch any gnomes, but the ones we had got away. I've had it. This time it's war! Total war! Total war? Come, we must warn the others. Hurry! We tried, but the woods are full of trolls. My baby! Thank goodness we're all safe. No, we're not. The trolls have declared war. We're all in danger. Oh, no! All right. This time the trolls have gone too far. They'll destroy our home. They're threatening our lives. We must defend ourselves. But how? We're so small. Don't forget. We have our forest friends to depend upon. They'll help us. The deer, the boar, the birds. We're not alone. Ready on the left? Ready. Ready on the right? Ready. Hey, Ma, look. Well, I'll be. The time has come. Stand steady. We have each other. And remember, we have the power of the forest. We will not be defeated. <laughs> yeah, let's get them! All right, trolls. Here's a chance to distinguish yourselves. Ha <laughs> ha 
thousand miles for this human Siberia's Not so fast. The war isn't over. Who knows what evil deeds they may be planning this very moment. We must stay alert. <sighs> that was terrible. <sighs> what happened to your plan, Ma? Uh, don't worry. We're not licked. Grab yourself a torch. There's only one way now. We're gonna burn down the forest and everything in it! Burn! 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 Thor, you know what to do. Was a hero. A thousand miles I come. I get thrones, I get rocks, I get fire, I get floods. You drown, you return. What a way to hold a wedding! In Siberia, we have nothing to match it. I say, on with the celebration! Yeah! <laughs> Now peace and quiet reign in the darkening forest. Only the occasional chortle of the owl breaks the hush. Deep in their earthy homes, rabbits dream free of traps and snares, now that the immediate threat of patrols has gone. Our gnomes may be celebrating now, but they know the trolls. They know their evil will return any time from any place, that it gathers strength in the dark beyond their homes. After supper around the flickering fires, gnomes will recount the victory over their age-old enemies, and their children, if misbehaving, will be admonished with, be good now, or the trolls will get you. After a period of considerable sawing and hammering, the repair work on the wedding pavilion is at long last complete. The colorful lanterns hung. The long, festive tables laden with the delicacies of the autumn harvest. All is ready for the ceremony uniting Tor and Lisa in marriage. Father Gnome again officiates, but this time dispensing with the traditional lifting of the veil for fear of its possible repercussions. The wedding party lasts well into the early morning. After much merriment and jesting, the honeymooners take their leave riding off into the brightening sky, seated upon the neck of a swan. Soon the guests are tired and sleepy, and wander off into the forest close by to find cozy nooks of soft moss. But not all. On a nearby rise stands a gnome. It is Kostya. He waves farewell, then is gone. 